Hey y'all, Phyllis here, southernfrugal.com. Well, we're back in the RV, and uh, what happened was, you might have figured this out, wrong color on the walls. I only painted one small wall, and I'm going to show you all that in a minute. But I went back to Lowe's, and they did take the paint back, and uh, I was able to get them to mix up a new color. And so what we have now, and I just got a little piece of it. Y'all see that it's almost the color of that chair, the plastic on this chair behind me, only it's got a little gold in it. So what happened was I went to Lowe's, I guess Thursday morning, I don't remember, several days ago, and I had all my little color swatches with me and I'd read y'all's comments, and uh, so when I still wasn't sure what color, so when I walked up to the counter, this young man was back there, and I spread them out, and I told him what I was doing. He said, oh, I like that color, and uh, that's the one I got, which wasn't in, even in consideration before. So uh, I don't know, early in the morning, I was susceptible to his suggestion, and he seemed so sure, and so I went ahead and bought it at $41 a gallon. Yeah, I got that uh, Bell Spar Reserve because I wanted to get a really nice paint. So I painted it on the wall and I thought, oh, it's going to look okay. And once it dries, it'll be more the right color. Well, I let it dry. Okay, well, if I put a second coat on it, I'm sure it'll be better. It wasn't. So anyway, then I had a rough day because I was totally unsatisfied with the color and then I had to go back to Lowe's. They were kind enough to go ahead and replace the paint uh, with uh, another color, which I was very thankful for. So anyway, I'm out here today and I'm getting ready to start painting with the new color. And there's no going back from the new color. All right, I wanna show y'all what else, so hold on. All right, so there's the new color right there on that wall. And I can tell in the camera it's not showing up as bright as, as it is, but it's a really bright color. It looks real muted on the camera. Let me see if I can get closer and show y'all. Yeah, there. See, it really doesn't look well with the carpet at all, I don't think, if you kind of compare it here and to this wall. I mean, it just definitely looks gold. Now, my accent colors are going to be gold and red, and that would be fine, except I don't want that much gold, because it would be all of these walls, all here, and all back in the bedroom, so, and even over here. Oh, and while I'm up, let me show you this. So, I actually ended up getting a putty, a putty knife, if I can find it. It was laying around here somewhere. I don't see it right now, but I've gotten the paint off, I mean the glue off on the walls. It's fairly smooth. I've got a little bit there and a little bit there, and I've gotten it off these walls so that it's smooth. I mean, it still looks like it's there, but it's not. Those, this wall here is smooth, so I just have a little bit to get off back there. I just don't know where my knife, putty knife thing I was using is. I don't know what I did with it, but it's in here somewhere. All right, so let me turn this back around now. All right, there you are. And here I am. So I wanted to tell you about another thing I discovered was, you know, I had said that I learned not to put the masking tape around um, the carpet uh, because I had yellow carpet in my daughter's bedroom at one point in another house and after about a year it just left a dirty I mean the dirt just collected there and made it dark you could see right where the tape went so they tell me that this tape is different now you have to pay for it it costs money but I thought okay I'm gonna give it a try so I came back here and I actually put it on a window left it a little while to see if it was going to leave any residue and it came off just perfectly clean. So I'm thinking it's going to do the same on the carpet. It's definitely a different kind of masking tape for sure. All right, I don't know where my little scraper is. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, 
paint in here. I'm going to try to get one coat on everything. I've only got about three hours this afternoon. And uh, so I'm going to try to get, you know, one coat on everything today. And then about maybe next Tuesday, I'll put the final coat on. So I'm getting real excited, y'all, now about getting this all together. And I was able to take the uh, little blinds down from over the kitchen window, over right over here. Sorry, my camera's kind of crooked, it looks like. Yeah, it is. Anyway, we're getting excited. We really are about all of this. And I'm going to uh, get the tiles to go on around the stove. Of course, I've got to get all of that uh, glue off that's, that you can feel. I mean, it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it's smooth. Because I'm going, I, I said I was going to use glass tiles, and I've about changed my mind on that. I'm just going to look and see what's available at like Home Depot and uh, Lowe's, and I'm going to look online. Now, I, I thought about using those kind of tiles that you can stick on. They're like vinyl, I think. But then I've thought better of that because it's going to be around the uh, cooktop. And you all know when you're cooking with gas, uh, it gets a lot hotter than if you're cooking with electricity. And I kind of don't think that will work. I, I think I need to just get regular tiles. And, um, and I really have changed my mind on the glass tiles. I'm going to look at them first. But I'm, I'm thinking I want regular, just little small tiles to go there. And I'd really like something with some tan, white, and maybe red splashed in there somewhere. M might look good since my accent colors are going to be red and gold. So I'm pretty excited about this, y'all. And uh, we've got a day when I can paint. It's cold outside, but we've got very low humidity, which is when you need to paint. And, of course, it's cold outside, but it's warm in here. We've had the furnace on, and it's just warm as toast in here. And, I, and the furnace is sitting on 62, so that kind of tells you the sun, of course, is heating, heating up part of it. But anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, at least get a couple of walls of your paint and show you all what the new paint looks like. All right, we'll see you all in an hour or so. All right, we're back. It's been at least two hours, and I have finished the first coat of paint on the slide out and the paint does uh, dry darker which I like so let me show you all what it looks like there I don't know if you can see the color and the uh, so much light coming in but it's a good uh, tan and it really uh, matches uh, the carpet pretty well and I'm very, very happy with it. It took a long time to paint around all these windows, but uh, I finally got it done. And I've decided around the floor, right around the edge, I've got paint all over my hands. Uh, I'm going to uh, get some of that uh, really uh, stiff styrofoam uh, quarter round, It's because they've got it at Lowe's and Oak. And I think that it needs quarter round just to finish it off, give it a more finished look around the uh, edge. Excuse me for jiggling, y'all. Yeah, so I just finished painting this wall. It's still wet in part of the places. But anyway, this was a, a Velspar paint, and I used it. It's called Reserve. It's also got a primer in it. So it does kind of drip a little bit. And so good thing I had the plastic down because I have been known to paint without even using a drop cloth, but the paint, this paint is not as thick as most paint is. So anyway, I'm gonna do the wall right over there and I'm gonna do the three walls in the bedroom and then I'm gonna be through for the day. So anyway, we will uh, see y'all next time. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with this color because we're going to make the accent colors uh, red and gold. And the chairs, of course, that go in here at the dining room, I've already covered those. I'm going to redo the back of both of them, but the seat's going to be the gold. And I'm going to try my best to put the leather around. Let me see if I can get it up there to show you all. No, yeah, there it is around this blue I'm going to take all that off and cover that 
with that gold colored uh, leather look uh, plastic really is what it vinyl but I think it'll look real good up there and kind of tie everything together yeah see it's all that blue it's like a velvet around there so I do think these boards uh, that go around it on that edge over there right there you see that blue board there um, I'm going to just unscrew them just a teeny bit and be able to shove that um, uh, vinyl around them and I think that'll look good anyway so that's it y'all uh, I'll go ahead and see if I can't post this tonight. Sorry all the jiggling. Um, I am definitely tired because of all the uh, work of painting around that little vinyl strip that's right around the top. There's a lot to paint around in here. Anyway, so we will see y'all, I guess, next week sometime. And I will get back to the cooking, y'all. We don't have anything sweet to eat in the house. Nothing. So I've got to make a cake or something for sure. All right, we will see y'all next time. Thank you for talking about the colors because um, it, so, several of y'all said we needed to go lighter, and I completely agree with that because we don't have that many big windows in here, and it, it already has lightened it up as far as I can tell. All right, I've worked on this. I've only got a teeny bit more to do, and I'm going to sand down by hand. I'm not going to bring the sander in here. Because I don't want to be, you know, getting them breathing all that stuff. So I'm just going to sand it with some coarse sandpaper and get it smoother. But I've only got a couple of big chunks. Let me show you. Those are the big chunks I was getting off. And there's some more back here. Really big chunks. And I had to wear my safety glasses because it was flying everywhere. See, there's some of the brown and then you can see some of the tan glue on it too. I don't know what they were doing with all that glue, but it certainly held the mirrors up. All right, y'all, we will see y'all sometime next week, hopefully, and I really want to make a strawberry cake. I don't think I've made one of those and recorded it, so that's what we're going to probably do next week. All right, bye for now.